we shouldn't ban people from eating burgers or right. make them ungodly expensive. You're living in a world of what if with climate change. Well, you're yeah. anti-science. Hold on a second. Do you believe that if someone is born a man, but he cuts off his cock that he's a woman? Now it's just hate speech. What happened to <laughs> science? Question of the day. We've had proposals to get into. from Democrats and Republicans uh, as it relates to government regulation of right. your everyday life. It ranges from banning vaping to no more red meat. This Jerks. is what we're going to talk about today. What's the most ridiculous <laughs> proposed regulation that you've heard of in the past few weeks? And do you think that right now Republicans and Democrats are two sides of the same coin? Uh, I, I think we're kind of there. But let's move on to the topic at hand. Yes, yes, yes. Lest you need a new reason to disdain veganism. <laughs> oh. In CNN, there, you know, there's a recent, did you see the climate town hall? Yeah. By the way, they're doing an LGBTQ mm. town hall. What? For Good. LGBT issues. Oh, that'll be like fun. Like what? <laughs> You're already competing in women's mixed martial arts. Number one and two track and field stars are men competing in women's sports. Power, like what else do you, you can, you can take a dump anywhere you want practically. And you don't even have to go into a restaurant anymore. No one's going to say anything. You're privileged. <laughs> What, what more? You get, ma I mean, marriage is way down the list because that's a lot, like, what, 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 what issues? <laughs> All right, anyway, so the, we have to go back. Climate town hall, yeah. uh, the debates, of course, which we covered for people who missed the stream. Democrats have been presenting a laundry list of things they want to stop Americans mm -hmm. from doing to save the environment. And yep. among these is uh, eating meat. And it's not just the DNC, by the way. You've been hearing this for a long time. You know, the UN just released a study that said we're gonna be okay if the vast majority of the world goes vegetarian immediately. From using a straw no. to eating Guess a burger, we're all gonna part die. of the problem. <laughs> In a certain way, yes. Are we prepared me. to deal with the health and environmental consequences of maintaining current levels of red something. meat and yes. daily product consumption? Some of it is with light bulbs. Some of it is on straws. Some of it, dang, no. is on cheeseburgers. Right? It's dang. also no. polluting. It's the number one librarian uh, contributor That's to what she pollution. Makes me think of. Hmm. One day a week. One day without eating animal products and you can look like me. can have a huge impact in helping maintain <laughs> that delicate balance. Join us. Join us. Join, Join us, us and go meat free on Monday. Monday. Who are those other two broads in there? It's, it's like they put in the line supervisor. I recognize one of them. Do you? Mm, I but don't. I can't pick her it? out. We need someone to fill this out Ooh, because like it's a little too white male <laughs> even though you know it's the, the single highest grossing no, no, musician no. of all time with Those Paul three McCartney. Women. Take the second AD, just toss her in there. <laughs> I think she was in Good Wife. Do I need any left. makeup? No, you're <laughs> good. <laughs> you're next to Paul McCartney. No one's going to notice. So obviously the main point here is they're all hypocrites. He's still okay? alive. But that doesn't make an argument. So hold your nose. Here comes mm -hmm. the cold water. Veganism, this is something you don't hear a lot, uh -oh. is potentially much worse for the planet. No. Let me cycle mm. through this. Okay, uh, yes. Reason one, sustainability. A lot of people, oh, I talked about this with uh, Lear Keith a long time ago. Hmm. Topsoil erosion. Yeah. So uh, omniv uh, do we say omnivorous? Is that Omnivorous. Yes. Omnivorous, yeah, yes. omnivorous. Uh, omnivorous farming is, is actually a lot more sustainable than the vegan model. So right. globally, we have, I want to make sure I get this right, 25 to 40 billion tons of topsoil are lost every year to erosion, mainly due to plowing, intense cropping. Yeah. Uh, in the UK, the topsoil depletion is so bad that the farmers think they may actually never be able to harvest that land at all. Wow. Again. Wow. Yep. And how do you combat this? This is something a lot of people, you won't hear from Paul McCartney in AD number one and <laughs> <Right>. two. <laughs> one of them was a photographer, really, it was had an to Instagram be. model. Who had looked, to be. A local bot. We need her in the, we'll in the shoot. show. A local bot when she does the twerk. <laughs> <laughs> so the way to combat this, the topsoil, is just letting the land just letting it return to being grazed Let pasture for a period, and that res results in complete halting of the erosion, and it rebuilds the soil. Basically, what you need to do is leave it for the animals, and then we eat those animals. I think that's, yeah. a, that's a very good system. By the way, why are they just now learning of what we learned in the Dust Bowl yeah, era? Like, years in, you know, like, we figured this out a heck of a long time ago. Why is this coming back up? Yeah. Do people not read? They don't. They no, they read. absolutely they don't. don't. You no. I just wanted to nope. remain silent so you yep. could answer your own question there. <laughs> yeah, I like and there, there have been quite a few studies that show vegan diets are less sustainable, by the way, than uh, omnivorous diets in the long term. Here's yeah. a collage for you. Uh, <laughs> and before we move on to other reasons, hit the notification bell. Join up at Mug Club, ladderwithcutter.com yeah. slash Mug Club. If you have not already, you get access to the full daily show, which you're not so, seeing here on uh, YouTube because we, have, we just can't because it'll mostly no. get banned. So another reason that veganism might be worse for the environment, people don't think about this. Uh, it's often overlooked. The importation of foods. Yeah. Here's what some, people don't realize. Vegans are not advocating an apples only if you live in the Northeast diet while Floridians and Californians enjoy the cornucopia the of a year-round yeah. yeah. growing season. Keep this in mind, too. When we talk about if, if your great-grandmother didn't eat it, you shouldn't. Well, your great-grandmother was lucky to get an orange in her stocking. And if your great-great-grandfather <laughs> was a dick, he would give your great-grandmother coal in her stocking just because he wanted to discipline her and give her the fear of God and ruin the magic of Whoa. Santa. So the point is, they didn't get to <laughs> wow. eat a varied 
diet. <laughs> no, not at all. Does anyone understand where I'm going with this? Yes. yes. The point is they want a very diet and it requires a lot of food like quinoa, avocados. Yeah. They'd be imported <laughs> often from countries that don't have the same regulations or sustainable oh, farming none. practices no regulations. that you have in Grand Rapids, Michigan. <laughs> It's similar to when they talk about, we want to shut down fracking. We want to shut down uh, this pipe. We want to stop uh, us from having access to our own oil reserves in Alaska. Okay, I understand that you don't like using energy, right? right you don't yeah. like oil. Just like you don't like eating animals. That being said, people in the world are eating animals. So yeah. you're going to have to decide how they kill those animals. That <laughs> being said, people in the world are growing vegetables. You yeah. don't have control over how they grow them in Mexico. When we talk about oil, you don't have control over what they do in Saudi Arabia or in these places in the Middle East that I think sometimes I feel like we should just make look like Kell-El's bachelor pad. <laughs> nice. Right? Well, look, and they kind of take so your rights in the process. It doesn't help to just say, yeah. well, we do fracking here. Yeah. We have an EPA. It's like, mm -hmm. no, let's just not do that. Well, we're still driving cars, and so we're dependent yes. on oil uh, right. from other places. Yeah, it, it ends up being just as bad, but they're taking your kind of your right to choose in the process, right? Your right to choose kind of what products and services that you want to be able to use, right? Right. And by mandating you have to do something like this, no, it's better for the economy, and I think we're going to get to a point. By the way, it's, it's, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, you know, one of the interesting things is, so, so what we're saying is that it's more, there's a moral imperative to no longer eat fish. Uh, there's a moral right. imperative to not eat meat because of the harm it causes yeah. to the environment and to the animals themselves. Cowfart. But we're not ever going to consider the millions of animals that are killed when there's widespread crop planting. I mean, there's yeah. like when you kill yeah. these fields, you you'd have to destroy um, yeah. natural you know, habitat. Natural habitat. Yeah. Oh, oh, deer, you other just animals. Cut off my number one reason, but Damn we will get you. to that. I have stats to undergird it. It's actually worse it than you're thinking. Undergird it. Do it. Uh, but by the way, we're talking about this. It's so bad now that countries like Mexico, Kenya, they've completely depleted their supply of certain wow. foods. And this is exactly mm. why we need to build a wall. Okay. <laughs> I don't yeah. stop. It's the avocados. I cannot. No, 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 no. We need the avocados. Please. By the way, that was just Tom Selleck. Did you know that Tom Selleck <laughs> was stealing water in California when they weren't allowed what? to use? Yeah, he was stealing water for, for his what? avocado farm. No. He has an avocado wow. farm, and he hates avocados. How badass he's making He just money. saw a market opportunity, even though Magnum P.I. doesn't like the taste. All right. Smoke that, <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> so let me ask you, what do you, think, well, what do you think is better for the environment? Eating venison from a deer you bagged yourself, or eating meat from your local yak farm, for all I know, or <laughs> fixing yourself $20 toast with avocados that were grown in Mexican tap water and tossed into trucks to t travel 2,500 miles? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's not even a question at that point. Come on. Well, it is a question for some folks. That's why I asked. They're it, idiots. And I that's answered what I'm it saying. myself. They're not idiots. Don't insult yes, their audience. Yes, they are. Stop it. He's on drugs and so, that's enough. Reason rude. number three: <laughs> carbon emissions. A lot of people don't uh, consider that farming land for crops releases more carbon from their soil than the Oops. land left for grazing. But anyway, it's just another <laughs> example of uh, climate change. Uh, not considering the reality of the alternatives that they suggest. Absolutely. Remember? And every single time they do, they do it with taxes, the economy, with socialism, and every, why this shouldn't be any different then. They don't, just don't think about it at all. Well, we talked about this last week, the uh, yeah. cotton bags, organic cotton oh, bags. Yeah. You'd have to use that cotton bag 20,000 times to break <laughs> even Good luck. with a plastic bag <laughs> environment. That means that if you went grocery it's shopping, for over about 380 years, we did the math. <laughs> so reason, uh, another reason, that's number reasonable. four, uh, this is something you were just talking about. The animals actually killed yeah. to protect and to create these crop yields. Yeah, it's a thing. A lot of vegans may not realize this. Do you know how it's 20, especially certain uh, uh, grains like wheat, yeah. uh, I don't know if it's corn, I think we have a source, mm -hmm. results in 25 times more sentient animals wow. being killed per kilogram of usable protein. There's more environmental damage, there's more animal that's cruelty insane. than farming red meat. And oh I know and I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, well, you're talking about grains, we could solve that problem if we go vegan and gluten grain free. Yeah, but that's that's just too gay. No, that's where it, that's a bridge that I'm not willing to cross. Well, Unsustainable. I, I really thought when you said we could solve this problem, you were just going to kill the vegans. I thought that oh. that I was. Well, there are that, some people who are experimenting with cannibalism. Is that too far? Yeah. That's an option. <laughs> well, there's, I mean, I think there's a natural progression there, right? If you're not willing to eat animals, you're willing to eat things Susan. that you consider less than the animals, which hmm. apparently people. humans are less important. Okay. Than animals. I don't know. I feel like we're putting words in their mouth at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, Who cares? I don't want to do the I don't want to do the Young Turks thing where okay, they're like, they're right. like they want to be cannibals. They're thinking, I'd much rather eat a person. Nah, no, <laughs> That's I just probably think, not true. I think you like kale and hydroponics, yeah, and you're dead. Okay, fine. In Australia, by the way, alone, <laughs> billions of animals deliberately killed every year. Yeah. Deliberately, this is just to protect fruit, vegetable crops yeah. for human consumption. A lot of people don't understand. A lot of people don't even think about this. This 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 is verifiable. Yeah. And I get it that you're saying, well, they're not as cute as a cow and they're small because, you know, yeah. screw, screw the city mouse who went out to the country. He was an adept. Oh, five. <laughs> oh, my gosh. In Napa Valley, like, they actually have laws that say you can't kill animals that are trying to eat your grapes. And by the way, these are not like Concord grapes, like table grapes. They're very expensive when you do the math. 
Yeah, and it's like the ground can't. owl setting up shop in the, exactly. your backyard yeah. in Florida. Next thing you know, you have some yellow hazard tape, and you yeah. can't put in your above-ground pool. You're done. You've got to change the pool shape to a little kidney bean-shaped pool so you have room cut out for the ground owl, which is a bird with the gift of flight that but lives in the not dirt. To fly. Please, let's have a ground owl cook out. <laughs> what would Delicious. we be missing without them? I don't understand. And none of this is to say that we can't be smarter <laughs> the movie uh, in our approach or the compromises. And, you know, I don't know. I've seen these commercials for insect protein on podcasts. Uh, I don't know exactly. Uh, uh, I don't what? know how into But is this Joe Rogan? You know what? Okay, here's a good Like, goats use far less land than cattle. Okay. So that's something that's just kind of a cultural deal. We don't use goats as much. Okay. There are little solutions like this. Yeah. Um, I do think, though, this is important to note. When you look at the town hall, and how long was it? Seven hours? The climate change town hall? And you look how much often long. they're talking about it. It's that these, this neo-environmentalism and veganism, it's, it's not that it's pro-animal. We all love animals. It's anti-human. Yeah. And by the way, this is the, these are the same people. A lot of people don't understand this. These are the same people who lobbied and created the trans fat epidemic in this country. So, for example, oh, wow. McDonald's, they used to use tallow for fries after lobbying from vegetarians to the USDA. They switched to hydrogenated vegetable oils because it was healthier. Mm. Right? A lot of people don't It started off with the agenda, though, that they wanted to get more Americans on a vegetarian diet. The same thing for the vilification of eggs, dietary cholesterol, saturated oh, yeah. fat. A lot of people want to act like it was just General Mills, right? It was their fault or it was the Kellogg's. But the reason a lot of information uh, misinformation regarding dietary cholesterol and the saturated fat was because of the vegetarian lobby and their agenda above truth and they're doing the same thing now uh, is instead of what really bothers me is when they say that Republicans are anti-science because we say hold on a second wait wait a second we shouldn't ban people from eating burgers or right. make them ungodly expensive because of something you believe you're living in a world of what if with climate change well you're yeah. anti-science hold on a second do you believe that if someone is born a man but he cuts off his that he's a woman, now it's just hate speech. What happened to science? Why are we murky in the rule book? What happened to science when we're talking about carbon emissions here? Right now, instead of claiming that their dogmatic diet is better for you, which is what we saw with vegetarians in the 60s and yeah. 70s, they are now playing the same misleading angle on the American public by trying to convince them to take this diet up. Not because it's better for you, but because it's better for the planet. Well, guess what? Ah. We found out that it wasn't necessarily better for you, and we now know that it is very less likely worse for the planet. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe or hit the notification bell. I think you see some videos playing in boxes up above, but you may or may not know we've been demonetized on YouTube, so you can actually support this channel by joining Mug Club, loudwithcredit.com slash mug club. Uh, you get this wonderful hand-etched mug along with hours of content every week, the full daily show that you don't get here on YouTube. Also, if you want to see, see this with the hint, if you want to see Nip, that can't be on YouTube. You got to join Mug Club. Nips for Mug Club.